Hello guys and welcome to tutorial number 3 from working with Photoshop. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to work with the brushes and the brush presets. First, you want to create a new file. So go to File, New, and select your width and height. I'll go for 1000 by 700 pixels. OK, and there's your layer. I've already set the background color to black, so I will press Ctrl Delete and my layer 1 will be black. I will just name it Background. Then I will create a new layer by pressing this icon and name it Brushes. Then I want to go to my Brush tool or B and here is a little thumbnail. If I click the arrow next to it, I see all the thumbnails of my brushes. These are the standard brushes, but you could do pretty cool things with it. I'll just select this round brush. Adjust the size to 62 pixels. Select my brushes layer and select as foreground color a bit of a red color. I'll press OK. And if I drag it across the layer, it will be just a red boring line. Now I'm go back with Ctrl Z. I'll go to my brushes again. Adjust the size to 33. That looks good. And then I'll click on the brush preset icon right here. This box will show up. You can click on the shape dynamics, not just on the little box here, but on the text himself. You could do a size jitter, but that's not cool because you get such a messy line. So I'll Ctrl Z again and also press scattering. And now this is pretty cool. You could shatter the brushes as much as you want and make maybe some more rounds maybe a little bit more and if you now left click and drag from left to right you'll see the shattered brush and it already looks pretty cool but now you want to do it with another layer so I'll turn the visibility of this one create a new layer again call it stars With this layer selected, I will go to the brushes, click on the arrow, and select the stars. If I drag it, I see it already is shattered. So, Ctrl Z, go to the brush preset, and shattering is automatically on, but I just want more. So, I select the color dynamics, click on the text itself, and if you turn everything on, on 100%, it'll get very cool rainbowy colors. But also, but also you could do some, some other cool stuff. You could also turn the shattering off, so it be, would be just such a line. But I'll just go to the color dynamics, change my foreground color to really red. I'll set the foreground background jitter to 100%. Hue jitter goes off, saturation goes off, brightness goes off, and purity stays on. That's to keep the colors. If I will do it to min 100%, it will be black and white. But if I do it to plus 100%, the higher the percentage, the higher the colors, the amount of colors. So now I have from really red to really black going colors because it's go it's switching from foreground to background now you could also go to the brush tip shape set the spacing to a little bit more so if you drag a line you would get a star by a star and a star and a star just one by one so 
not one star is crossing the other one and it looks pretty cool so this was it for today I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something about brushes and just try anything out what you like I hope you liked it new tutorials every week so subscribe if you like it and I hope to see you soon in the next tutorial